Welcome. I'm the Deadwood Jedi, and this is another Raid Shadow Legends video. Uh, today, yes, I'm in my account right now, but we're about to take a gander through Mac's account. Um, he had come to me about a coaching uh, session. He really wanted to put together this new uh, Batman salad team, the Batman salad eater, whatever it's called. Uh, it's a new build that uh, Hell Hades actually showcased. It was created by uh, Robo Hobo Bobo as well as Optilink, I believe. Um, and those are a couple of the uh, moderators in my Discord. And um, it's a very cool comp. I know Murdering just did a version of this using Relentless gear as well. So there's lots of possibilities as far as how to build this kind of a team. Um, I think it's really very, very cool. Um, it's also really extra. I mean, this is like that next level whale type of account, guys. Um, it's not going to be for everybody. Now, I think the video is super cool. It kind of gives us that inspirational, aspirational kind of what could we do type of thing. Um, but I don't have the champions to build this. I barely have the gear to build this. Um, and you, a lot of you may struggle with that too. That's okay. Um, it's still an incredible feat of engineering, I think, and definitely worthy of us checking it out. Now, if some of you guys don't have this stuff and you are still looking to improve your teams, maybe you're running that budget unkillable, for example, go check out my game on uh, account. So there's links down below in the description and in the comment here for the game on uh, app from Amazon. It's available on Android and PC. Game on is a new platform where I can do short videos like two minutes long and just kind of highlight something that I feel like. And so I'm using it right now to highlight champions that I think are best for that slow boy stun champion for the budget unkillable team. I think it's a great way to do that because I get those questions a lot and this gives me a chance to kind of go through them with you guys in a quick, easy to digest format that I think you guys are going to enjoy. It's really fun too. You guys can easily record your own, your own stuff and share it on there, which is really nice and fun. So I'm going to have all that down there for you guys. So definitely check that out. Um, this team, however... Uh, definitely doesn't abide by the budget unkillable rules. This one is going to have two man eaters, Mashald and Seeker, in addition to a DPS. So you have three DPS champions. That's why it's better than the bat eater comp itself. This is going to be a one key team, almost without fail. As long as you build enough crit rate and damage on your man eater, uh, not on your man eater, on your Mashald, your Seeker, and your DPS champion, should be breezy because you're bringing three DPS, you're replacing Painkeeper with Mashald. I mean, this is a huge damage increase for your team, which is why this is so great. If you can get these champions, if you can afford these speeds, this is a clearly an upgrade for your team. I mean, an extra upgrade, but it's an upgrade. So definitely worth checking out. We basically have two man eaters. They're each going on alternating five, three turns. So one man eater's taking three turns when the other one's taking two, and then they swap each uh, between each clan boss attack. And that's gonna help us stay unkillable every single attack. Um, and it lasts for the entire fight. So it's a really incredible team, incredible build. A lot of genius work going in here. So a lot of shout out to those guys. I do wanna also quickly shout out my Patreon subscribers. You guys are really keeping me in this, uh, honestly. Uh, just I could not do this without your support, uh, both financially and emotionally. I really do appreciate it, um, just sharing that love. So if you guys are interested in something like this, go ahead and sign up through my Patreon. Um, we'll get you some coaching, get you an account takeover, and uh, get your team doing more damage. That said, let's look at the champions here, and then we'll go into the run. All right, so this is the Draco. We have them in Savage set, which is just extra. We got 100% crit rate, great crit damage, accuracy is good. Speed's 195. There's actually a pretty wide range for speed at the slowest one and decent attack there. So he's definitely going to be doing some work for us. You can see the masteries. We're going down attack and defense. That's pretty much everything for... That's what it's going to be for pretty much everybody here. Again, same thing, attack and defense here for Mashald. We've got him kitted out pretty well. 100% crit rate, 250 act, or crit damage. Uh, good attack there. Speed's 238. That one's really tight. It's like 238, 239. And it can be affected by speed sets, so you're going to want to check that one in the calculator. And then no accuracy. We're trying not to land his debuffs if possible, just to maximize the damage we can get from Draco. Um, we've got two man eaters. One of them, they're both about the same speed. 287 is uh, the minimum speed you can have for these guys, and I think it goes all the way up to about 289. Um, haven't pushed the full limit, so there might be a little bit more leeway, but I'm not convinced there is. 100% crit rate. Uh, at this speed is pretty good, so I'm not too worried about the attack or crit damage, just getting them to speed, really. And the other man eater, we got 288. 100% um, crit damage or crit rate, decent crit damage, so actually decent attack on that one. Um, so we just try to get as much as we can out of it, but really we only have three damage dealers Draco Mashald and, of course, here Seeker. Seeker, you can see, 
Um, as far as his stats go, there you go, 224 speed. There's a little bit of leeway to this. I think it goes all the way down to about 221 or so. 100% um, crit rate, good crit damage, and obviously the attack could be a little bit higher. We haven't rolled up everything on all these guys, so there's obviously a little bit of room to work with. But as I said, defense, offense masteries with everyone here as well. All right, so this is the team. We've got Seeker, Mashal, Draco, two man eaters going against Clan Boss. It is red affinity, so it's a bad affinity for both uh, Draco and uh, Seeker, which is a little bit annoying, but not too big of an issue. All right, so how we're going to do this A1 with the fast man eater, A1 with the slow man eater. You can use the A2 as well if you prefer. Mashal, we're going to go ahead and use the speed increase right from the jump here. So we'll go ahead and drop that in there. Seeker, we're gonna A1 for his first two attacks. So we're gonna wait to use Seeker's speed boost here. Let's get some poisons from Draco and start the process. Now obviously you can use Draco's skills however you want. I like to do it this way, so that's the way I do it. Uh, there we go, A1 again with the fast man eater. Now the slow man eater, here we're gonna use the unkillable. So basically a one turn delay on him. And then there goes Mashal. And again, the A1 with Seeker. Maneater again with the A1 or A2, whatever you feel like. Draco's going to put the decreased defense and the weaken out. And again, A1 with the slow Maneater. And you can see everybody is unkillable. We do have debuffs blocked. This is what makes us affinity friendly. And now here, Mashald is going to go ahead and do his speed increase and get his stuff out. Uh, Maneater is going to go ahead A1 or A2, again, how you like. At this point, we can click auto. And it'll run okay. Seeker can go ahead and do a speed increase. So we're just going to go and let let them run at this point. And now the fast man eater is going to use their unkillable right here before the clan boss attacks. And from this point on, we are unkillable, completely affinity friendly. The man eaters will be taking one man eater will take two turns, and the other one will take three turns um, between each clan boss attack. And then they're going to alternate. So basically, they're going on a five-two. They're going to take five attacks. For every two attacks the clan boss takes and uh everybody else is on a two one ratio taking two attacks for every one the clan boss takes and with three damage dealers mashald seeker and draco not to mention the increased attack buff from seeker we're gonna do quite a bit of damage oh also the increased crit damage buff from mashald's not too shabby either so i'm looking forward to seeing how well this can do obviously if you've seen how hades video you know this can be a hundred million comp um, and uh, I'm not quite sure this, this one is there, but uh, we're going to see what happens, so enjoy.
what did I say, guys? Easy one key. Easy one key damage here. It's not even a thing. You get three damage dealers all going at 2-1 ratios. It's it's a wrap. I mean, it's a wrap. It's so simple. So it's just an incredible team. You get the increased attack buff from Seeker. You get the increased crit damage buff from Mashal. Everybody's getting healing from the leech. Not to mention you're still dealing damage, and then you're getting those counterattacks because everybody's health is pretty high. Um, it's a pretty incredible team. Uh, really ridiculous. Now, obviously, the speed requirements are super high, so it's not going to be for everybody. I can't do this team. I don't have the champions to do it. Um, and even if I did, I don't know that I'd want to dedicate the speed gear to making it work. But if you're struggling to get that one key, you're right on that edge. You know, like I was with my Batman Eater. I was at like 65 million damage. This would easily push you over the top. And in that case, it's worth it. Because then you're just one key Ultra Nightmare, one key Nightmare, one key Brutal. It's a wrap. Can't do much better than that. So um, lots of potential here. I think this is something that if you guys can do it, I do recommend that you go ahead and make this kind of a team. Um, but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe, hit that like. Um, like I said, hit up that game account, game on account app. I gotta figure out how to say this stuff better. <laughs> um, but it is actually a really fun way to kind of share some videos, and I'm really excited to share some information with you guys. Uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Always a pleasure. Love talking to you. Till next we meet on the Deadwood Jedi. Thank you.